Hello everybody, this is Dreamgum up here to announce the start of the next mini tournament. So, by popular vote, and as you can see by my lovely presentation here, we have the African Assault Tournament. I'm actually surprised the African Assault Tournament won. I think the um, Fierce Fossils came pretty close as well. That one's come close a few times. But we have African Assault, and this one is actually going to be the short, smallest mini tournament because there's only 18 competitors, as you can see. I thought there would be more, but apparently not. And uh, uh, heaven help me when I do for the North America tournament. Oof, <laughs> it uh, might, might have to split her into like three parts. But anyway, let's have a look at our combatants, shall we? So, at uh, first, we obviously have Eocarcaria, one of the more standout dinosaurs from Africa, coming in with defense boost, blazing spin, and well, it's gotta have flare sword, doesn't it? Because it's a crime against humanity if it's not. The Dinosaur King Law Enforcement Team will come and cut you away. Right, and we next up, we basically have his cousin, the Cacirodontosaurus. And of course, it's got fire cannon, because why not? Uh, we also have the champion of the water washout tournament, the Spinosaurus, probably one of the one of the actual tournament favourites, because there's no secret dinosaurs and no armoured dinosaur. And Spinosaurus and Eocarcaria are the only golds in this. And Spinosaurus has a type advantage over Eocarcaria, so yeah, I would say Spinosaurus is the tournament favourite. Can it be the first dinosaur to win two mini tournaments? The odds look good for him. Quite a few water dinosaurs joining him as well. We got Joe Boria, of course. Satiosaurus, which even though Satiosaurus was predominantly in Europe, there have been excavated remains of it found in Africa, so I allowed it to compete. Sugamimus, because Sugamimus is African. Decreosaurus, re returning from the Jurassic Tussle Tournament. Did well in that tournament, looking to do well again in this one. And another returning dinosaur from that tournament, Kentrosaurus, the only Earth dinosaur. And yet again, we don't have lightning dinosaurs because all the lightning dinosaurs are pretty much North America. So as I say, when I do that tournament, it's going to be all lightning dinosaurs. Except for like a Danoceratops, which is Asia. Uh, the only grass dinosaur in this tournament, Aranosaurus. And in fact, well, we have our Alpha Aranosaurus up there as well. The only dinosaur in this tournament, other than the Alpha one, that has a thousand strength. So probably the weakest dinosaur in this tournament. But do not underestimate its power. Right, as for the wind dinosaurs, and yes, predominantly a lot of wind dinosaurs, we have Majungasaurus, Serat Ceratosaurus, because Ceratosaurus has been found in Africa, Delta Dromius, Afrovenator, well, this one, <laughs> Afrovenator basically means African hunter, so of course it's from Africa. Uh, Rugops, which cameoed in Planet Dinosaur. And Allosaurus, because Allosaurus is everywhere. I didn't include Allosaurus Atrox, because from what I researched online, that particular Allosaurus has only been found in North America. So that is why Allosaurus Atrox is not featuring in this tournament, but regular Allosaurus is. Right, we got some Alpha, so again, Alpha Allosaurus and Alpha Rhinosaur. Oh, and because I needed the numbers, because 17 is a very awkward number, I added Spiny. And that is our roster, ladies and gentlemen. So 18 combatants here, same as the egg tournament. So they will all be going into this format here. So basically, if you want to know how this format works, go watch the excellent eggs tournament and you'll understand how this tournament will work. Of course, this one is different because it's not tag team. Right, without further ado, let's see who will play who in the first round of matches. So like normal, one to nine on the top row and then 10 to 18 on the bottom, going left to right. Right, let's get this started. Ooh, number two, so Kakirodontosaurus. All right, let's see who Kakirodontosaurus will be playing. Ooh, Kakirodontosaurus versus Spiny. Ooh, what, what a match to kick off this tournament. Couldn't ask for a better matchup, could we? Kakirodontosaurus squaring off against Spiny. Number 11, ooh, that's Delta Dromius. So Delta Dromius is going to be in match numero 2, and his opponent shall be, you can't play yourself, number 16. So that means he's going up against Alpha Aranosaurus. Not a good matchup for the Alpha Arano that. Right, on to our third matchup now. Ooh, we got Satiosaurus. Satiosaurus featured in the uh, Jurassic Tussle tournament. Got knocked out by the eventual winner in Brontokins, and his opponent shall be, ooh... Probably a good matchup for it there. Both fire dinosaurs not getting good matchups though. Facing water dinosaurs. Right, onto the second bracket now. 
number nine. Ooh, that's one of my favourite wind dinosaurs in this, the Afrovenator. Afrovenator, that didn't quite happen for him in the Jurassic Tussle tournament. And, ooh, it's going to be a clash of br wind bronzes. Right, next up is number seven. Ooh, we got Majungasaurus, the apex predator of Madagascar, and he's going up against... Ooh, he's going up against the tournament favourite. It's Majungasaurus versus Spinosaurus. Ooh, that's going to be difficult for Majung there. But we have seen things happen before. Right, number eight. Ooh, we got Alpha Allosaurus. Alpha Allosaurus going up against... You can't play yourself. Oh, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Alpha Allosaurus going to be taking on the reg regular Allosaurus. You're down to six. We got Joboria, Supermimus, Decreosaurus, Kindrosaurus, Aranosaurus, and Ceratosaurus. Let's see who will face who. Oh, we got number five. That is Aranosaurus, the only grass dinosaur in this tournament. And his opponent shall be... Ooh, Aranosaurus versus Supermimus. Right, we are down to four. Oh, well, we got number four. That is the final wind dinosaur to be chosen, Ceratosaurus. And Ceratosaurus' opponent is going to be Joboria. So, by my calculations, that means, in fact, we're going to see a rematch from the Jurassic Tussle tournament. It will be Decreosaurus taking on Kendrosaurus. So let's just see who will play who. Okay, so Decreosaurus will go on the left, and Kentrosaurus will go on the right. And that is uh, that is how our first round matchups look, ladies and gentlemen. So up in this bracket, we got Carcharodontosaurus versus Spiny. Ooh, that's a, that's a mouth-watering encounter. Deltadromius taking on Alpha Ranosaurus. Satiosaurus going up against Eocarcaria. Then in our second bracket, we have a Frovenator going up against Rugops. Majungasaurus taking on Spinosaurus and Alpha Allosaurus going up against the regular Allosaurus. And down here we will have Aranosaurus taking on Sukamimus, Ceratosaurus going up against the Joboria, and then Decreosaurus taking on Kentrosaurus. Wow, this is going to be, even though I said that this Spino is going to be the tournament favourite, a very tough bracket for it to negotiate from. Majungasaurus is definitely not a pushover. And neither of the neither of these guys, so yeah. Very tough for the Spinosaurus. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Spinosaurus gets beaten. It'll be very difficult for it to win too many tournaments. But it's done it before. He can do it again. As for well, as for this bracket, some very more favourable matchups here for Spiny, Delta Dromius, and Satiosaurus. All of whom will have the tight advantage over their opponents. So yeah, that's Okay, that, not much to say down here. Well, nice little rematch between these two. Kentrosaurus look, probably looking to get a bit of revenge on Decreosaurus for what, what happened in the Jurassic Tussle tournament. It'll be interesting to see how Aranosaurus gets on down in this bracket. He might have a type advantage if Kentrosaurus wins, but he might have a type disadvantage if Ceratosaurus wins. Not, not the worst bracket in the world for Aranosaurus. Could it be one to watch in this tournament? So yeah, pop a comment down below. Who do you think's going to win this tournament? And who do you think's going to surprise you? Until I start said tournament, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.